Cassie Deputy here with DeputyTribe.com. Go ahead and give this video a thumbs up and please subscribe. Something weird going on in our kitchen today. Um, I made some bone broth the other day. Look at that. Look at this beauty, huh? And I took the bones, because they were super soft, and I'm crushing them into this paste, um, which I'm going to attempt to dehydrate and create a powder that we can sprinkle on our food um, for calcium. Calcium is always one of my biggest concerns since we have a dairy allergy. Um, typically, we used to get raw cow's milk from a farm and we would drink so much of it. Like, I'm talking 10 to 12 gallons of every two weeks. Um, but since then, since we started having severe allergies to dairy, um, I have been trying to find other ways to really up our calcium without taking like store-bought supplements. So uh, this is something that I've, I had thought of and I know that a lot of ancient cultures used to grind up their bones and eat the paste. They used to give it especially to pregnant mothers so that they could get calcium, pregnant and nursing mothers. Um, so that's kind of where the idea sparked from. And then if you're familiar with the Weston A. Price Foundation, they're like one of the only ones that actually has like an article on eating animals from head to tail. And that include the bones of the animal and how they would eat them. They would crush them up and sprinkle them on food. So that was kind of my thought process. Um, and I'm really liking the look of this paste. I know when bones are really soft, um, we as a family eat them, like chew on them and suck the marrow out and um, things like that. But I wanted to try making this powder and sprinkling it on our food and see how that goes. It's not too much more work um, since the bones are already soft and bone broth is so easy to make. I figured, well, I'll just crush them up, throw them on a pan and stick them in my oven for several hours till they dehydrate. And then I'll probably throw them in the food processor and really powderize them. So this is the process. Hopefully I will create another video telling you guys how it went. Hey guys, Cassie Deputy here with DeputyTribe.com. Please give this video a thumbs up and please hit the subscribe button um, so that we can get more subscribers onto this channel. You can hit the little bell so you get notified when there's new videos. So you're probably wondering what weird thing is going on in the deputy kitchen today. I've gotten a lot of feedback from people that um, they're really enjoying my very strange food videos um, so well strange to you I guess not really strange to us but so what I'm doing right now is I recently made some beef bone broth everybody's already had a cup but I have some left I just strained it and poured it into jars and the bones were super super soft so I have been experimenting with different ways to get more calcium into our diet um, since we're allergic to milk I have several kids that are very severely allergic to milk, um, like borderline anaphylactic. I think my youngest, my infant, Willow, she is, um, I think, anaphylactic. She was having a hard time breathing when she had dairy last and broke out in full body hives everywhere. Um, so no milk for us, but uh, I had been researching um, I know a lot of ancient cultures used to eat the bones of animals and so they used to crush them up like the bones of like birds and fish and things and sprinkle it on the food of specifically pregnant and nursing mothers to give them calcium. Um, and I have been trying to research it but there's not a lot of places that really talk about it. So I found on the Weston A. Price Foundation, they do talk about it. Um, and so that's what I'm attempting to do. I'm t attempting to crush them as small as I can here. I think this is about as successful as I'm going to get. Um, and then I'm going to spread them on this pan here and dehydrate them. So it's kind of hard to do this with one hand. But I'm basically just going to spread it out as thin as I can. And as it's dehydrating, I will powderize it more and then dehydrate it, powderize it, dehydrate it. 
So my goal is to make a powder that I can keep in a jar and sprinkle on our food for added calcium. So I'll pop back in here and kind of we'll experiment how it's going ourselves. Okay, so this is after, I don't know, maybe like a half an hour of dehydrating and it's already getting pretty powdery. So I'm just gonna break it up so we can see all that moisture still in there. You wanna definitely make sure there's no moisture um, when you jar it because it will go bad, it will mold. It's looking pretty good though. So I'm just gonna break all these pieces up. Um, you set your oven at a very, very, as low as it'll go. So the lowest mine will go is 170. Um, so that's what I have it at. I used to have an oven that would go all the way down to 120 and I would dehydrate like pureed fruit um, in the oven at that temperature because I don't have a dehydrator. So that's something that you can do. If you do have a dehydrator, you could even do that. But most people don't have that, so. So I will crush this up and then throw it back in the oven and check on it again in probably another 20, 30 minutes. So I pulled it out of the oven and it was pretty dried up, so I'm crushing it into even super finer powder. So if you can see it on my hand here, it's pretty powdery. I'm gonna re-dehydrate it one last time just to make sure after I crush up these last bone fragments, um, just to make sure it's fully dehydrated and then I'll place it in my little mini mason jar. Check back with you in a few. And sifted out all the powder from the larger chunks. So I'll keep grinding up these larger chunks and sifting them until they become this nice thin powder here. Come over here so you can see it. Here's the bone powder. If you can see that. It's nice and dehydrated pretty thin. Like it. Okay. Got it? Mm -hmm. So I'm just going to very carefully try not to create a lot of dust. Okay, come over here. Get up close so you can see what I'm doing. Let's go finish your chore, please. dehydrated Delicious. ready to go so now how you would use this bone powder is you could sprinkle it on your food to get some extra calcium I'm just gonna stick them up here for now until I get a chance to label them yeah you can turn that off you can sprinkle them on your food to get extra calcium you can use them in tooth powder recipes which I will do a video on Wow my things really messy um, which I'll do a video on next, and you could put it in smoothies. You could add it to maybe bone broth and shake it up. Um, if you're doing like a homemade formula, check out the Weston A. Price Foundation, and they have a homemade formula recipe. Um, I mean, there's lots of different applications that you could do for it. So that was really cool, and I'm really excited about how it turned out.
So I'll have to pop on here and do more videos on using our new bone powder. So thanks for joining me. Make sure you hit the thumbs up, please, on this video. Hit subscribe on the bell so you don't miss out on any of our new videos. And God bless.